Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. My name is Ada and I'm here with my partner Abigail to discuss a cool new Dev and Think feature. Abigail and I are the creators of an awesome course called Dev and Think for Historians. If you haven't learned about the course, the link is in the chat. And in this video, we're going to share uh, one of Abigail's newest feature discoveries, keyboard shortcuts. So Abigail, show us what you've learned. Yeah, so um, these aren't features that are necessarily new to Dev and Think 3. They're features that are new to me. Yes, yes, so, I should have made that clear, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, um, what happened is I have been working, I've been like very deep in research mode recently, and I was having two frustrations uh, with, with Dev and Think. The first was I was looking for a highlight shortcut for text or um, or OCR um, PDFs, mm -hmm. and um, I yet I like to use a lot of different color highlights to kind of indicate you know this is um, pertinent information, this is background information, or whatever you know yeah. different schemas I'm I'm using. And I wanted a shortcut where I could switch between those highlight colors really quickly. And the second was, um, you know, through most of the internet, you can put in a hyperlink using on the Mac Command K. Um, but in Dev and Think, that will trigger um, the file you're working in to be read or unread, to be marked read or unread. And that was driving me bananas. So I wanted to find a shortcut to um, quickly uh, add a hyperlink without having to, to navigate using the mouse. For sure, for sure. Well, I found uh, you in the Dev and Think um, forums, uh, people talking about an, a handy piece of software called Keyboard Maestro. And nice. there is a free, um, uh, like a free trial that you can use. I ended up buying it within 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, you know, you feel free to check it out with the free trial. So let me switch over to screen share and yes. show what I have done. And while you do that, I think it's a great reminder for everyone on the, the general power of keyboard shortcuts. So if you find yourself using your mouse often, or you find yourself having to feel like you're taking a lot of time or doing a lot of clicks to get something done, the keyboard shortcut can be a great way for you to save time and energy for those things you do over and over and over again. Yeah, All right, absolutely. we see your screen. Yes, so I've just cut and pasted in some lorem ipsum text. Um, and I'm gonna quickly show uh, the built-in shortcut for uh, highlights in Dev and Think. So if you hit Shift Command L, you'll get a highlight in whatever the last color is that you use. So clearly for me that was green. I, mean, I just hit undo. Um, if I want to change the color to yellow, um, I'll have to go and, and do that with my mouse, which is fine. Obviously, it's not some major labor, but um, I. I was so frequently switching that it was starting to to eat up some time. Yeah. So what I did in Keyboard Maestro, now I will say um, the Keyboard Maestro tutorial is excellent and I would highly mm. recommend taking it. I'm not going to show um, exactly how I set this all up, but very briefly, you can see what I've done is assign the hotkey. I've used the, um, what is that squiggly called? The the key that has the squiggly and then the accent mark in the top left. Oh, in the top left corner. Yeah, the tilde. Uh, the tilde, I think it's the tilde, I think so. But yeah. let us know if we've got that right, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, that, you, it's almost impossible, like it's very difficult to see here, but that's yes. the, um, the little accent mark. Yes. So when it's tapped once, what it will do is execute the following action. It will uh, highlight in yellow, but if I tap it twice, it will turn green. So I'll show really quickly here, I'll just select some text. That's with one hit, and here to 
clicks and I've got green. Very cool. Yeah. So this is a way that you can save time in, in reading some, through some text, mm -hmm. highlighting it, tapping once yellow, tapping twice green, and help you kind of get through and right. process the information um, faster and smoother. I love that. I love right. that. So I something love that. important to know is that I hardly ever use this key. What has basically happened is I can now not <laughs> use the tilde out or the accent key. Right. Uh, it will just create like an error message. If I, like right. even if I'm in Microsoft Word, um, I felt like that was enough, like a decent trade off for me because I I just hardly use it. And if I really, you know, I really need it, I can just come in here and um, uh, like disable it momentarily. Sure, sure. But um. So for the so I'll show for the for the hyperlink. Yes, there wasn't another key on this keyboard that I rarely use. So I um, decided to use F one as the hot key. Okay. I don't love this. My I have a, a fairly decent sized hand, but the the stretch from the the function key up to the um, what is this called? The um, the scrolling bar, the yeah. digital keyboard bar at the top of the Mac keyboard. Yep, it's a little cumbersome for me. Um, F one felt like the closest stretch. Um, so if I go and I hit F one, it will prompt the link, and then I can just move over to Command V and paste in whatever, you know, whatever URL you want. Com. Yeah. Wow. Um, so that, you know, it's not, I, I still really <laughs> wish I could do the Command K, but um, this was, this was a good compromise. Excellent, excellent. I love how you can customize this for your own hand, as you mentioned and implied, mm -hmm. to something that you find comfortable, and also the thought that you've put into it and in thinking, you know, okay, what combination of keys will I use more frequently than others, um, yeah. and what should I assign? One of the things, and, and I, I hate to put you on the spot, but in Keyboard Maestro, could you, couldn't you add a combination of keys? Is that what that little plus sign is for? So instead of picking with uh, one tilde or F1, could yeah, you? Yeah, so there's a lot of different options. You can do, you know, uh, a, a typed string. Mm -hmm. You know, my for me, the, the goal was to make it really simple. Sure, um, sure. So I think if you're someone who either has, you know, you work with a more extended keyboard, like you have an external, you know, it's not a, a laptop laptop keyboard um, and you have built-in function keys, this would be so much easier to just keep the, the hot keys. Um, but feel free, everyone can experiment with like a, a multitude of different ways of prompting this. In, in yeah. Um, and this is like just barely scratching the surface of Keyboard Maestro's functionality. I just, you know, was coming to it with a really specific problem I was trying to solve, but I'm really looking forward to exploring its, its possibilities even further. Yes, yes, yes. Well, definitely often frustration drives ingenuity and discovery. So this is what happened for you. I think it's really great that you discovered this for your own personal workflow and that you had the idea to share it with everyone. I, you know, I think it's a cool feature. I think it's a cool tool that you can use in the two ways that you've seen shown here, but also in a multitude of ways. I, I, the ideas are percolating in all the different ways that you could save some time, some energy, mm -hmm. some clicking um, by introducing some new keyboard shortcuts. So thank you for that. Um, one quick thing before we go, um, in Devon thing, could you just move your, your cursor to show where that highlight was so they could, everyone could see um, where the keyboard shortcuts were? No, those are the different colors, oh, but the... Got it. Sorry. You mean... No okay, problem. So if you go yes. into help and you type in highlight and then you go over, um, it will uh, show... Oop, It'll show you, I was about to point to my screen, but <laughs> you guys can't see it. But, yeah. um, you can see that, that um, 
it looks like a, a floating sticky note, like sticky tab to me, is pointing at the keyboard shortcut. So yes, S, shift, command, L. Yeah, so if you're exploring the Devon Pink um, menu bars and you see those characters on the end of anything in the menu bar, that is the built-in uh, keyboard shortcut. So maybe yeah. exploring those, if there's something you find yourself clicking often, you could teach yourself the keyboard shortcut. Awesome. Awesome. Well, this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Um, if you want to learn more about Dev and Think, we recommend you check out our course. Again, it's called Dev and Think for Historians. And the link to the website about the course is in the description below. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. If you're a regular on our channel, thank you for coming back and watching us. We really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you like this video, let us know. Click the little thumbs up button and uh, feel free to put any other feedback you have for us um, in the comments. So we hope you have a really great day and thanks so much for joining us. Thanks. Bye.